Hello guys, welcome to Great Motion Maths classes. Today in this lecture, we will discuss about a very important theorem of algebra, remainder theorem, and also factor theorem. First of all, we talk about remainder theorem. What is the statement of this theorem? Look here. If a polynomial px of degree one or more is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, where a is a real number. Then remainder in P is A. Here we are given a polynomial and the polynomial is having degree 1 or 2 or more. At least the degree must be 1. Okay. Now if we divide that polynomial by x minus a, a linear polynomial, the divisor is linear polynomial and it is x minus a. Consider here if we divide it by x minus a, then the remainder can be found directly without applying division process the remainder will be p in a we will prove this statement look here prove polynomial px polynomial px is having degree one or more okay by euclid division algorithm euclid division algorithm we will prove it before applying euclid division algorithm we have to put the components of euclid division algorithm what does it say it says that dividend equal to Divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. You know it well when whenever we divide a number by another number, we get quotient and remainder, and two numbers are dividend and one is divisor in arithmetic as well as in algebra. Here we are discussing about algebra, and uh, this is the dividend. Px is dividend. Let Px is dividend quotient Qx Qx is quotient okay Gx equal to x minus a is divisor it is given divisor and Rx remainder. Now we have written down all the components, four components of Euclid division algorithm: dividend, quotient, divisor, and remainder. Now we will put all these in this form: Euclid division algorithm. Here, in place of dividend, put p x equal to. In place of divisor, x minus a. Okay. In place of quotient, put q x. Plus in place of remainder R X. After doing this, it becomes very simple. We will apply one operation only. Put X equal to A. What will it become? P at A. In place of X, I have put A equal to. In place of X, put A minus A multiplied by Q at A plus R at A. Wherever we watch, we saw X, we replace that by A. And in the next step, it will become, we write it here, A minus A, 0. Multiplied by whatever there, 0 multiplied by whatever, and if Q at A will become 0, plus R at A, it is remainder. And our left hand side is Px. Okay. Now what do you see? Px not P at A. Remember P at A. By mistake it was written Px. Equal to 0 multiplied by this becomes 0 plus remainder. So finally you can see remainder equal to P at A. Remainder is P at A. Hence, true. We have 
root the remainder theorem. Okay. Now we will discuss about the factor theorem. So for this we have to erase it. In factor theorem, first of all we take the statement of the remainder theorem. We need that for this if polynomial polynomial p x of degree one or more one or more is divided by linear polynomial x minus a then two statements arise two conditions will be there first one is if p at a equal to 0 what is p at a you know remainder if the polynomial of degree 1 or more divided by x minus a then you can find out the remainder directly and that is p at a if p at a is 0 it means the remainder is 0 if we divide the polynomial by another polynomial and the remainder is 0 then we can say the divisor is the factor of the dividend. So if p at a equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor of px. Okay? If the remainder is 0, p at a is 0, remainder is 0 then the polynomial which divides the another polynomial is a factor of the dividend. Second one. If x minus a is a factor of p x, then if it is a factor, then p at a will be equal to zero. If a polynomial is a factor of another polynomial, in that case, the remainder must be equal to zero. So p at a will be equal to zero. Now we will prove these statements. I have told you that uh, two cases arises when our polynomial of degree 1 or more is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a. After the remainder theorem, we are discussing about uh, factor theorem. Case 1, if p at a equal to 0, it means remainder is 0, then x minus a is a factor of px. We have to prove it. Case 1, p at a equal to 0 implies that remainder is zero okay we will put the euclid division algorithm statement polynomial x px dividend equal to gx multiplied by qx plus rx okay equal to gx is x minus p it is division it is quotient qx plus remainder rx now this uh, polynomial is having degree 1 or more we cannot say about the degree so we cannot say about the degree of qx it is linear quadratic cubic whatever degree value of this qx okay x minus a multiplied by qx plus remainder is 0 it is clearly said that p at a equal to 0 it means remainder is 0 so we can write it in this form p x equal to x minus a multiplied by q x this is 0 so leave it in the next step it is clearly the product of x minus a and q x that is q x it is p x now it is factorized you can see x minus a is a factor of this and this quotient is also a factor of this the product of these two polynomials is equal to px remainder was 0 so it is proved that if the remainder is 0 then the divisor is a factor of the dividend ok second case in case 2 we say that if x minus a is a factor it is already given that x minus a is factor we have to show that the remainder will be 0 in this case the remainder was 0 and we had to prove that 
the divisor is a factor. Now we are given the division x minus a is a factor. We have to show that the remainder will be zero. Okay. The difference between these two statements you have got. I think you have. Now for this, put Euclid division algorithm. P x equal to g x multiplied by q x plus r x. Remainder we have to. Show that remainder is zero in this case. Clear. Gx is x minus a multiplied by qx plus remainder. It is px. Okay. Now we are given that x minus a is a factor. X minus is a factor, and the product of these two will make this px. It is factorized. Px is factorized. So we can write a px. We are getting px plus rx. What do you see? Rx will be equal to px minus px. That is zero. So remainder is zero. If x minus a is factor, then the remainder will be equal to zero. We have proved both the cases. In this lecture, we discuss about the remainder theorem as well as the factor theorem. And I hope you have understood it well. If you like my videos, please don't forget to share, like, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, thank you very much, and have a nice day.